All right, Virgo. Let's see what's coming in for you in 2023. So right off the bat, there is some sort of movement here. This could be movement that you've been planning to take, action you've been planning to take. This could be getting a new car, literally moving. But with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like it's been a long time coming. So this could be something you've been saving for, something you've been planning, but it feels like obstacle after obstacle. This could also be like finishing school. You know, maybe you have went for 10 stinking years trying to get a, a degree and you feel like, I keep getting pushed back. I keep getting pushed back. But there is final movement forward here. Also seeing that there could be someone external to you who could be obsessively thinking about you at this time. Because they're feeling like you're really abundant, there's something here about you doing the work on yourself. I'm hearing, I can't keep my eyes off of you, okay? So this could definitely be someone who's watching you from the shadows. Hmm. Virgo. Yeah. So something could something's going to unfold for you coming up in this year. It could be this person. This is someone where they're asking you, do you want to get yourself back into this? This is someone that you've learned a lot of lessons with. And I feel like this person is watching you move on, watching you move away, watching you move forward. Because you've done a lot of growth. But I'm going to be honest, based off of what I'm feeling, I feel like this person could be really attracted to you right now because you're leaving them behind. And I feel like they're going to come towards you or approach you at a time, at a point when you're not going to see it coming because you're going to be in your own little world, your own little energy. And I feel like you've been healing so much because you're focused on your own success that it's going to make them want to come in and give you some sort of apology. I feel like it's going to happen not right this moment. It's going to be at a certain time frame. Yeah, apology, wanting to give you an apology. For a lot of you, this is a connection that feels very passionate, very magnetic, very uncontrollable, but very inconsistent. And th they're telling you, you know, it's passionate, but is this the kind of person that when stuff hits the fan, they got you? Is this the kind of person... That if you get ill and you can't move out of bed for the next two weeks, can they do what a partner needs to do to make sure that you know everything's taken care of? Can they step up? Or is it like taking care of a toddler? You know the answer to this, but I'm just throwing it out there. You're taking care of a toddler. Okay, let's see what we've got. What do we have coming in for Virgo? Virgo in 2023. Yeah. Feeling really wounded. Even your face says it all. Even your face is like, don't you dare. Feeling very wounded, but recognizing that you still have so much more fight in you and you're not ready to give up. There's something here as well about you maybe recognizing your manifestations, manifestation powers. Getting to a point where you're like, okay, I have the strength and I have the determination and even the resistance that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fail. And maybe at one point in this, in this near past... You felt really defeated. You felt really tired. You felt really down on your luck. But a lot of self-reflection here, I feel like has made you, um, I heard the term man up, whether you're a male or a female, it's made you step up and maybe look at things from a very logical perspective, from a practical perspective. And it could even be an energy here where you could be looking at that person that's going to be approaching you, wanting to offer you something. You could be looking that, looking at them in that manner. Give me more for what's coming in in 2023. Yeah. So feeling, there is going to be an energy coming in where you're going to feel a lack of, of passion. You're going to feel really blah. You could definitely be getting out of fight or flight mode, feeling very exhausted. You're, you're not going to really want to maybe do more than what you have to coming up in this year. I see you investing. I see you putting in the work. I see you doing what you need to do for progress to be had in your life. But I also don't see you saying, you know what? Let's go travel Italy this summer. Let's go rent a boat and a house. And I don't see you really throwing all that energy out. Because I see you feeling tired. I see you feeling very like... When is my life going to pay off kind of energy. 
yeah, getting out of your head, no longer recognizing, no longer hiding maybe blockages, no longer letting your heart speak for you when your mind should. For some of you, you could even be getting back out there and maybe flirting with other people, online dating, chatting with other people, but you are going to find or recognize that there could be some sketchy people in your environment who are only out for their self. Um, these are the kind of people, like, if the, the, the building's burning down, they gonna step on you to try to get out. Like, mm. Some of you could have been dealing with a boss or a dad figure. This person could be giving you some sort of apology about some sense of betrayal, some sense of sadness and disappointment and a disagreement that's been happening here. Um... Some of you are not going to believe their intentions, though. Brings a lot of self-reflection. So, if this is like a boss who's been... This would be a boss who you know you can't necessarily trust. And when they come in and tell you something, you're just kind of looking at them like, Mm-hmm, I don't know if I believe you. So, what are you going to be leaving behind? You're leaving behind wanting to have the strength and the determination to maybe carry more than what you should. You're leaving behind fighting for a cycle to be completed. Fight, fighting for change and transformation. Fighting for success and victory. It's like at one point you were so hell and high water to make things work, even if you were the only one building it. And you're done with that. You're taking your strength and you're putting it on different things. And maybe even recognizing how proud you should be of yourself for the things that you've got through. Really holding back your energy. For some of you, you're going to be feeling a little guarded. But you're leaving behind a lot of stress. There's going to be a lot of cycles being completed or there has been. So going into this new year, you're going to be feeling... Here's the thing. You've completed a lot of cycles and you feel better and you know you're going in a broader direction. But those cycles are going to come back to see have you fully learned and are you willing to let me in. I feel like there's still a little bit of energy of you not fully knowing where you're going. And I just heard, and I'll know when I get there. But I know what I desire and what I desire and what I've been getting are two different things. And I feel like there's a lot that you've been keeping to yourself and one of it could be how stressed out how overwhelmed you are but you are leaving behind feeling very lack feeling like you need to hold on to something tightly recognizing that if you have to hold on to something so tightly that maybe it's not meant to be yours recognizing you can put that strength that effort that courage into something else and for some of you, you're recognizing that it took the strength and the courage to walk away from something that was no longer fulfilling you. And that's growth. I know a lot of people throw shade at someone who will walk away when enough is enough, even when there's still love there. But that says a lot about you and, it, and how much you've grown. How much you're willing to see that not everything's in our control and we can only do as much as we can do. But as long as we've done what we need to do for us to sleep good at night, that's all that matters. And that is a win. What are you attracting towards you right now in this year? Ooh, I'm feeling good. Some of you could be attracting a union. Some of you are definitely attracting stability. Getting out of a, yeah, getting out of a place where you're, you're tired of feeling fucking lack. I'm tired of feeling lonely. I'm tired of feeling abandoned. I'm tired of feeling not enough. Some of you are going to be working on your self-worth. Some of you are going to be attracting some sort of reunion with somebody from your past. So this could be someone that you look up to, that you care for. You feel like this person's really stable. I feel like you and this person could um, grow each other significantly. It's like you want to make each other better. 
And that's a, that's a solid ass friendship. I feel like what you're attracting is a lot of growth, but also a sense of stability that no one can shake. And I feel like for some of you, you could be attracting some sort of apology or some sort of reunion. As I said, that it was 1010 with someone from the past. Could be a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But there has been a stuck energy. Maybe both of you have been changing your perspective on something that's happened in the past. But there has been a juggling energy of, should we move this forward? Should we invest? A lot of resting and renewing has brought change and transformation, though. So, again, this could be a lover, a friend, someone. But the last time you've seen this person and now, you guys are two completely different people. And it could have been three months. It could have been three months, but you guys are two completely different people. What do we have, Virgo? So, let's look at your money and your career, Virgo. Let's look at your money and your career for 2023. I see you possibly being sad and disappointed. Maybe feeling like you're not where you want to be. Yeah, getting truth, getting clarity. Seeing everything clearly about some sort of collaboration. Moving out of rough waters into calmer water. So you're gonna find a sense of peace in your money, in your job, but there could be a overwhelming truth that lingers over you. So it's like you're happy, but you're not happy. Does that make sense? Money and career. Making a final decision. Tired of juggling. Tired of being in your head. Maybe even in a self-imposed prison. Needing to use your intuition. A lot of you, there's some sense of action. Something you've been manifesting. Something where you need to bring in your masculine energy and say, I cannot fail. YOLO, let's fucking do it. Like that's the kind of energy you need to be bringing in, Virgo. There is something you want to bet on and it has to do with you. Whether this is going back to school, starting a business, going into your boss's office and going, listen, I want this position. I want it now or I'm leaving. Is it a yes or is it a no? Doing that very masculine, strong, taking action. I don't care. I'm in control of my life type of energy. Do it. Do it. There's something here about you getting discontent. But your discontent has everything to do with you being conflicted internally and you being in a self-imposed prison. But I feel like you're getting to a point where you're ready to make a final decision. The final decision is not you juggling. Sometimes when we're comfortable, we won't make changes we need to make. That can mean leaving a job. That can mean leaving a friendship. That can mean leaving a connection. But when the universe makes us so uncomfortable that we go home and we're like, no, I have to make a change. This ain't working for me anymore. That's when we step up and fear no longer is a factor. That's when we step up and it doesn't matter what people think of us. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter if we fail. Because at the end of the day, the people who could be judging us or making comments about us and what we could be failing at or what we could not be doing in their mind that's right, at least we had the strength and the courage to bet on ourselves. And I guarantee you those people chatting about you don't have that courage and don't have that strength. That's why they're sitting on the sidelines chatting about people. So there's something your heart is desiring to do when it has to do with money and career. And they're telling you to do it, but you have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of your own way. And your intuition is guiding you. Use that passion as fuel. Your intuition is guiding you. Get out of your own way, Virgo. All right, we're going to leave it here. Have a blessed day, guys.